Welcome. My name is Doug Fink, and I want to show you a couple of tools I've ported from Linux. Uh, sequence utilities. Uh, the seek utility is for generating a sequence of numbers. And what's interesting about it, it has the additional options for controlling the start and the end, and you can control the increment, make custom in increments. It also includes floating point numbers and the formatting of the numbers, which we'll see in this quick demo. And at the end, we'll wrap all this in something called DSeq uh, to create date sequences. So if you're familiar with PowerShell, you're familiar with the built-in range operator, where you type 1.5 and you can get, the, it'll show you the numbers 1 to 5. It also works with negative numbers, etc. So the way seek works is you can do things like you can just set an upper bound. So that gives you the same thing as one to five. Uh, and you can also control the beginning and the end like you do in the built-in PowerShell. So there's five to 10. But what's interesting is not only you can now specify a lower bound and an upper bound and an increment. So if I want, I can just print out 10 to 20, but increment by two. Taking that a little further, you can also do decimals. So I can print from five to 6.6, 6 .6, and I can increment by 0.2. We can go negative, so from five to negative five. And you can also do formatting with this utility, this function. So we can say, let's generate a sequence of numbers from one to a thousand by an increment of 100. And we wanna do equal widths. And notice you can see the padding zeros for the numbers one to 900. And the tool, the function will figure it out, depending on the largest size, how much to pad and to do it correctly. You also have the capability of putting separators in. So I want a number from one to five, but I want them separated by colons. You can also separate them by an asterisk. And then you can do cute tricks like invoke expression on the same thing, and it'll actually do the multiplication for you. Um, what else? So, you can do a format string. This is, follows the same format string that you see in, in standard um, PowerShell, and you can leverage it here. I can go from numbers one, five to 10 by an increment of two and print out item value. And I can also format it as currency. You can, tell that from the, you can see that from the uh, curly brackets, zero colon C. Now let's play with date sequences. So this I'm just gonna do regular sequence. I'm gonna do from one to 28, and I wanna increment it by seven. And those are the numbers. Now, if I just put a D in front of SEQ, those are date sequences, same start, end, and increment, but now I can get a date sequence from it. And of course, I can pipe that into for each and get the short string. So if you want, you can check out The repo, check out the examples, pull down the actual module, and have fun with it. Thanks for joining.